Hey Bun Buns, it's Yun by Yoni Bunny. And today I wanted to talk about personal development, part aspects of personal development. One thing I wanted to cover today is how life changes and how life changes for the better for you and everyone around you and everyone you know when you live life with other people's best interests in mind at all times. And of course, we wanna take care of ourselves first you know, it's always about putting the oxygen mask on yourself. Like, you know, when we get on the planes and they, they instruct us to do so, we have to keep ourselves full first and then give to other people. But at the same time, as we're filling ourselves up, it doesn't hurt us to, you know, care for other people and come from a loving place with great intention. And I live my life with always having other people's best interests in mind at all times and everyone it doesn't matter who it is if i'm in your presence i'm gonna have your best interests in mind for me it really helps me maintain a sense of wholeness within myself a sense of peace a sense of just well-being and dignity and i feel like it honors it's a way of honoring myself um as well as other people and the our global community, our amazing world. So I'm going to go over why you want to maybe consider living your life this way too and how it can benefit you and everyone around you. Okay? Yee! So first of all, when you live your life with other people's best interests in mind at all times, it builds immediate trust. And I am big on trust. Life is all about trust. If there's no trust, there is no relationship. So immediately when you live your life with other people's best interests in mind it builds trust so off the bat again it improves your relationships with your family with your friends your co-workers your boss your associates your clients collectors you know I'm an artist I paint so so that is a great way to really strengthen your relationships because there's that sense of trust and it's about, hey, you know what? This person's always gonna have my best interest in mind. And that's incredibly, incredibly rare. It also improves your reputation. So you wanna be known as someone that has other people's best interests in mind because most of the world does not operate that way. And I know this, you know this, right? So, but the fact that you stand out as someone that operates that way is incredibly, incredibly refreshing to a lot, to a lot of people. It's going to improve your business. And so let me give you an example of how it can improve your business. And I'm a long term girl. I'm a long shot person. I don't really do anything for the short term. I'm not a transactional person you know when it comes to relationships I'm all about the long haul with people so how it's going to improve your business is if you let's say that you're offer a product or service and someone comes to you and you know that you're not exactly the right fit for that person you know you don't really just want to hustle them for their money just for a quick but I, I don't work like that but if I know that there's somebody that I know that's gonna be a much better fit for what they're looking for, I'm gonna make that referral happen. I'm gonna refer them to someone that's incredibly trustworthy and awesome and amazing and make sure that they're in the, in the best care of, of someone that I trust that, that I'm gonna send them to. And that's having their best interest in mind. So even though in the short term, maybe I didn't make money with that person and we weren't able to do business in that sense, you better bet that I'm going to get amazing referrals. I might, might get three, four, five, six, and beyond referrals for, for the things that I do. Because they know, like, wow, Yoni is going to have my best interest in mind. And she sent me to the so-and-so who really took care of me and gave me an excellent, excellent experience. And I trust her. I like her. And I'm going to bring more people to her. And so even though you didn't make that immediate first business happened with this person you've built trust with this person and that speaks so much more and they're going to give you referrals and those referrals from f those four five six seven eight people however many people they're going to send you and all those people that compound from sending business to you is much more than just that one short-term transaction right so that's how it's going to improve your business when you have live your life with other people's best interests in mind at all times. 
it sets you apart. It sets you apart. It makes you extremely rare. And I, I try to be a rare bunny, a rare woman. <laughs> so, so you want to be rare, you know, because it sets you apart. And most people out here, they're going to hustle you or they're going to not do what's in your best interest or, you know, that's, that's kind of just the world, the way, the way the world works. So you want to be the exception. You want to be that person that always has other people's best interests in mind at all times. And that's, that's really cool. So like I said, I don't believe in hustling people for the short term in any kind of way. I don't believe in rela making relationships transactions because relationships are not transactions. <laughs> people are not transactions um, in the sense of relationships. And um, also, it's, it's an endearing act of love off the bat. You know, when you have other people's best interests in mind at all times, they feel it. They feel it. And they have this sense of like, wow, I feel cared about. I care. I feel loved. And that improves everything. That improves your life, relationships, business, right? And uh, it makes our world better. And our world really needs all the love that it can get right now, especially here with what's happening with our presidency in our elections and everything with, with this presidency, we, we really need that right now. We really need all the love that we can give right now. Um, and also, it's just, it's an act of loving and abundance. And when you do that, you put it out there that you're confident in your love and you're confident in your abundance. And y'all know that I'm a big believer in loving your way to success. And what I mean by that is you can be super kind and super nice and super sweet and genuine and 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 totally win and only affiliate with people that are kind and sweet and genuine and, and win as well. And you don't have to be cutthroat and dog eat dog and do all that to be successful and be you, um, successful in, in your career and, and be happy. You don't have to live like that. I don't live like that, right? I don't live like that. So I wanted to, you know, get your opinion. What do you think about this video? How would your life improve if you walked around having, always having other people's best interests in mind? And when people come to you for anything, you're gonna, you know, really hook them up with, with the things that's gonna really serve them, really gonna help them with things. And how, what are some ways that you can have other people's best interests in mind at all times? So try it, you know, for a week, try it for a month. Let me know how it works. Let me know how it worked out for you. And, and we're gonna go make some more videos about life, making life awesome. All right, Bun Buns, I love you. And let's keep on loving our way to success.